Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if this is your first time here, my name is Melissa. Welcome to my channel, the coolest place on the internet by far. Today I wanted to sit and play with a colour that I never play with ever. <laughs> Purple. Uh, sorry, we're going to do this look here. It's a bit kind of monochromatic. I went really blush heavy. Lip matches the eye. You know. Going to use my Morphe 39S. Tiny bit of my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. Do this whole thing. So if you want to see how I did it, what products I use, or if you're just bored, you just want to fanny around with me. Let's fanny around. So we're starting off, I've already got my eyebrows on just because, I don't know, I just put them on first, which is weird for me. And I've primed my eye, I've used my ABH eye primer. Just did. Oh, I'm gonna have to lift up this ridiculous palette. I'm first gonna grab this like really blue, cool toned, deep matte purple. Just gonna keep my eye open and just pop it on this outer portion. Oh, that's another word I hate. I'm so close to finishing up that bottle of ABH eye primer, which is why I keep reaching for it. I just, I do feel quite proud of myself. This can get real messy as always. We can clean it up. There's no makeup police, you know? There we go, so it's definitely above my crease and I'll throw that on the inner corner as well. You can see how bad that crease is on me. I am just gonna leave a gap in the middle because obviously we're doing a bit of a spacious look. I'll just take that same color but on a fluffier brush. And I'm just gonna diffuse it a pinch. Just a pinch. I need to put that on a t-shirt. This is such a good palette. It just is. I'm then gonna take this purple down here. It's also matte, followed by this one, which has a tiny bit of sparkle in it, I think. By the way, these shades, like the three that I've just pointed out, are what's on my brows, if you're wondering. So this is obviously a wee bit lighter. Start dragging this out a wee bit more. These Jessup brush sets are just fab. I'll link one um, below. If you feel like you don't have very many brushes, great set to get and they're just so cheap. I mean, they're not like five pounds, but 15 pounds for 15 brushes, I think it's pretty good value. Not spending much time on this outer corner because just the way I do things, I am going to go in with like and deepen this up and stuff and then I'll go with that slightly lighter one. Yeah, definitely it's glitter in it. But I don't notice it once I start putting it on my eye. So if that bothers you, I don't know. It doesn't really bother me. Okay, then I'm gonna take a brush, which brush? I don't wanna put black on the wrong brush. The black in this palette is sparkly. Oh, I don't wanna drop this. There you go. Again, I mean, not my favorite. I don't really like mattes with sparkle in them, but I think it's like totally fine for this look. And when you start like blending out these mattes that have sparkle in them, like no matter what brand, I always find like most of the sparkle just disappears. But to be honest, quite nice in it. I'm gonna wee bit of sparkle. And I'll put this on my inner corner. I don't think this is the brush I used. <laughs> Although to be fair this is a really good brush. Okay so that's my deepest shade so now I can just really go in and spend time so I'll just go back in with this one, this one, this one and then I'll grab my Huda in a second. I'll just quickly go through all of these shades with the same brushes I used and just blend each one out into the next. A bit more of that medium one. Don't purples just make you happy? I know so many of you, your favourite colours purple to play with. 
I think that's like how some of you found my videos. <laughs> it's by me uploading purple looks. And then I'm just gonna keep that same brush and take my Mercury Retrograde in the shade Libra, which is this very pastel purple, and just plunk that around the very edge. And then I actually took just the smallest amount of this like raspberry up here and just introduced that in. I felt like it just helped with my blending on the other side. Okay, and then for the center, I got this in the Superdrug buy one get one free. Um, it's the NYX eyeshadow base and it's white. And I just thought, oh, that's a good thing to have in your stash. And what I do, because I have hooded eyes, I keep my eye open and put it where I want it to go first and then I'll like close my eye and just see the gap it's crazy this is really nice and creamy that's another word I don't like <laughs> now I'm just gonna rub that brush on my dressing gown which needs to go on the wash and just kind of diffuse the edges into the mattes so I needed my Huda palette for this shade. I went in with Utopia, which is a peach. This one here. And this I just pop down either side. Purple and peach are so pretty. Like purple, pinks and peach. Just make things happy. We'll come back to that, don't you fear? And then I'll go in with this lightest metallic up here. And this will go down the center. I need to like set that next eyeshadow base with shadow or it will just crease badly. I'm so happy I bought that. Got quite a few nice NYX bits in the three for two. Apparently Superdog are doing another buy one get one free, by the way, at the end of the month your eyes peeled. Um, I'm gonna grab this lovely pink up here just on that brush that I used the peach on. So cool. Just where the peach hits these deeper shades and it's gonna help start blend it. Wunderbar. Starting to look similar and then I'm just going to take my Amazon Hojo tube. This is shade number three. So I'll go under the brow and it's going to cling on real nice because it's still got wet primer up here. And then down the centre I just took my, that's not it, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Grind. Just for a bit extra sparkle. I just like lay the brush flat on its side and it's like the correct width. And then I just drag the tip on either side just to kind of disperse the glitter around. Um, big thick fat line. With my Ofra of course, fill this in. I'm only doing this to match the other side. I took my LA Splash Serpent Liner because initially I was just gonna have this as like a navy blue liner, but then you know me, I saw some sparkles and I had to add them, so just ignore this, but I'm just doing it so that both sides look the same. Just let that dry for a sec. My handy fan. A fan for a fanny. And then the glitter is Collection Glam Crystals. So cheap, so good. Shade 11, Shake It Up. Shake it up. Which is like blue purple. I 
I have already moisturised and I think it's about time that we tried this from XX Revolution, the Cloud Cloud Complexion Primer. It's been sitting in my drawer now for ages. Oh, it's quite thick. And I'm going to use just my Norris foundation that I know and love, so it's quite a good time to test a primer, I always think, when you're using a foundation that you know and love. This feels real nice, it feels like a like thick gel. Smells good too, smells like coconut, maybe? I don't know what the claims of this are. I might just quickly look that up just to see, because they brought out so many new primers all at once. It's a dream for blurred and brightened skin. It's a filter in a jar. Blurs, pores and illuminates. This is Yagal. The texture is sorbet-like and super soft to touch. Silky blurred finish with an iridescent finish. Don't see much iridescence, but it certainly feels nice. Yeah. I mean, you know me in primers, it takes me a while to fall in love. I'm just gonna really quickly take my foundation and things on. Still need to work out like if I can put a purple blush on or something like that, make it this super monochromatic. This is Oslo by the way, it's very pale, but I always find that when I put my powders and stuff on, it just matches me real well. I reckon my skin does look a little bit more glowy than usual with that primer. I'm really gonna quickly, <laughs> I'm gonna really quickly, I'm really gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cream contour with medium bisque from LA Girl. I've been using like my Fenty and my Huda and things recently, my cream contours and they're high end but this is very cheap and very good. I love this as a cream contour. I don't really rate the concealer as a concealer but as a cream contour. Perfect. And there's so many different shades like whatever skin tone you are there should be one in there for you. And it's cheap as chips. I'm getting a bit more bold these days with contouring my nose, haven't I? Um, let's use this. My L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Shade 320. Why not? Was this not supposed to be L'Oreal's answer to shape tape? I can't remember. But it is quite a dry formula. I'm not sure this would suit dry skin. I've got very normal skin. Like, I feel like I am quite lucky with my skin type. I'm just gonna very quickly bake with my Koei. I'm so close to finishing this up. I mean, I'm not, but I am, considering how much product you get in it. I'm contouring with my Essence Contour Kit look. I've just hit pan on the deeper side as well. It's tiny, but it's there. I am very proud of myself. I'm almost ready. Well, I am ready. I just haven't done it yet to film the full face of makeup I've hit pan on. Or almost finished. Eh, uh, bronzer. I want a lovely glowy bronzer. Oh my goodness, I did a live yesterday with um, <laughs> with Rebecca on my Patreon Facebook group and it was like a battle to see who could recreate this milk 1422 face chart and I mean Rebecca won but I put so much bronzer on it looked ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna use my Milani. I mean that story was really kind of boring wasn't it? You had to be there. <laughs> this is a nice glowy bronzer. Has anyone tried the new, I mean, to me they're new, new Milani bronzer, um, highlighters on Beauty Bay. I'll put a picture up on screen. I want to know if the palest one will suit me and if they're any good because they're like £16, <laughs> which is like a high-end price. And I want to know if they're like worth it before I buy one. I love bronzer so much. Blah, no, highlight. <laughs> Maybe I'll use um, this. Oh, okay. my Benefit Cheek Leader Mini Pink Squad and try Tickle. I think it was too dark for me the first time I tried it. This has like 
a pink gold shift to it. It's like the same formula as Cookie. Cookie's just a better shade for me. Yeah, it comes off very gold. I mean, it's gorgeous, and if you've got deeper skin than me, get it. If you want it. Where is all of my ABH palettes? Okay, we'll try this one, ABH Dream. If you want to hit pan on this, I'll use this pink one in the middle called Unicorn, which I've clearly loved a lot in the past. Oh, that is pink. I used to love colourful highlights though. Yeah, that's like lilac. That's kind of perfect for this look. And blush before my battery runs out. I'm going to try this because I have it. This is my Kat Von D Fetish blush and highlight palette and it's got this purple matte called Coven. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off in any way but I might just make my blush like a, a prominent feature in some way. I'm not even sure you can get this palette anymore. This was a gift a while ago. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this blush like a feature of this look because this colour's not great as a blush on me. <laughs> Might like put it all the way around. Draping, is that not what it's called? I'm a professional if you didn't know. I mean, this isn't a wearable look we're going for and then I'll just go in with telepathy on top which is the highlight version. Yeah, we can work on that. I need to change my battery and I'll like finish one eye and then I'll come back and see what we're doing. Not a fart, promise. Promise. Under my eyes I'm just running mainly kind of pinks. Don't know why, I just chose to. You know, one of those things. And then I decided that I wanted to jazz it up, but before I did that I went in with my Barry M High Vis Liner in Dangerous. I was blown away by the blue in this um, range. This purple is just kind of meh. It's neither here nor there. It's fine. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, and then I went in with more of the peach from the Huda and I like pulled that down quite low and quite smoky. Just, I thought it tied into the, the top a bit. So that's what I did. Looks all right. Uh, let's throw on some lashes. Gonna go for a nice affordable lip. This is the MUA Velvet Matte in Desire and I'm hoping it'll match what's going on. Oh, I think it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. I think that matches quite well. It could do with people being a little bit darker, but I mean, it's pretty vampy and cool. There we are. I will brush my hair. I might put more blush on. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it is quite purple. Mm, what should I do? Maybe my Soph highlighter palette and then this like lilac y one. Yeah, it's just as a bit more highlight. Wow. <laughs> My cheeks are looking textured, that's for sure, with all of this highlight on them. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? I'll uh, do something with this and then we'll be back and we'll be done. Let's just go with some ho 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 hoops and that'll be us finished. <laughs> We're done, finally. I have to pee so bad. Please. Here we are then. My makeup is finished as you can see. I, yeah, it's all right, whatever. It's something I do kind of all the time, isn't it? It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. I think maybe the blush wasn't the best choice, but you live and you learn and you don't do it again next time, hopefully. I do really like that collection glitter liner. The cocoa lashes are always really pretty. I like the color of the lipstick. It is a tad patchy, but it's so cheap. 
Um, the Barry M eyeliner I'm a little bit kind of disappointed by just because the blue really blew me away. Ha! The blue blew me away. Wow. Um, it was really great and the purple is just kind of, eh, you know, it's fine. But it's not bad. Again, it's not bad. It's just not fantastic. And I love the coloured brows. I need to do these more because they're just more fun. Anyway, that's going to be all for me today. I've only been filming for four hours today, so that is probably... A record. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give it a big thumbs up, it really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure to tell me what you want to see on my channel, please. And subscribe. Again, it's the law. Have a nice Friday, whatever you're doing, and I hope we'll catch you on the flip side. Adios. Mm -hmm.